This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. Is there a mod you'd like to see me spotlight? If so, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to make it happen. We are back ready for another awesome mod spotlight. Today we are looking at simple food recipes and fish trap. Let's get to it. Alright, go in here, go to the Ingrams. They are down at the bottom per usual. The preserving water bag is going to cost you three. Simple food board is going to cost you three. And the fish trap will cost you three. Then all of the food will cost you different amounts depending on what you want to learn. But all of it is prepared within the simple uh, food board. So the steaks cost you one, uh, the mejos gonna cost you two, the tintos gonna cost you two, the stemberries gonna cost you two, and the narcos gonna cost you two. But the azer and the um, ammer are only gonna cost you one. Then the prime versions of those won't cost you anything to learn. Neither will chopping up the meat that you catch or the fish that you ch catch in the fish trap. And then there are the versions for the fish meat, and those will not cost you any either. All right, let's get to the costs. I'm only going to go over the costs of the main three items. I'm not going to go over the costs of each of the foods. We'll get to uh, those a little more in detail, though, and I will provide you guys with a link that will give you even more detail. All right, so the fish trap. Simple food board. And the preserving water bag. All right, now that we got the usual stuff out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. So if we go over here to the board, you can see I've already learned all the stuff there is to learn. Uh, the link that I will provide for you guys will give you detailed information on what each of these do because they all do different stuff and they all have different spoil timers. So for example, if we scroll down here and look at the Ammer meat, it increases the spoil time when you make this one. It'll have longer spoil duration. And they all give different variations of spoil timers, the amount of food they give, the amount of health they give, and the amount of water that they give. And some will actually, like the Stemberry, will actually take water um, and the narco will actually knock you out a little bit. Uh, it's not a whole lot of torpor that it adds, but if you ate a bunch of them in rapid succession, it would definitely knock you out. So then there is also the prepping the meat for the raw fish that you catch and the poisonous fish that you catch. So you're definitely going to want to learn those if you make the fish basket. So let's go look at the fish basket real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have one placed down here. You have to place it underwater. And you have to put berries in it. Now it says there's different combination of berries will have different effects on how often it catches fish. This has been running for some time. This has been running since the last two spotlights that I've done. So it has been going. It is a slow process. You can see I've only caught 30 fish and two poisonous fish. So I'm not exactly sure. Also, it states that certain berry combinations will get you more poisonous fish than it will the regular small fish. And I'm not sure what that is either. So let's grab one of these and we'll take them over here and I will show you what you do with them. So all you have to do is just grab the little raw fish, small fish out of there, drop it in here. This lights up, craft it, and then it'll give you one raw fish meat. So each fish is only going to convert into one raw fish meat. Let's go grab one of the poisonous fish and I'll show you them.
poisonous fish, same thing. Craft it. And you get one spoiled meat. So, that's how the food board works. The coolest thing out of this, I mean, all of these are neat, but I love the fact that it does the berry ration. Because I, when I'm playing, I always end up with tons and tons of extra berries. And this is just a great way to get rid of them. I mean, it costs you two thatch, that's easy enough to get, but then it can help you get rid of all those extra berries and actually turn them into something useful, other than trying to make custom food out of them with the whole custom food thing. Yeah, great little addition there. Alright, so let's take a look at the preserving bag. So all this does is it adds a little bit more duration to the food that you're trying to preserve. It has to be placed under the water. And as you saw when we were going over the cost, it's pretty cheap to make, which is nice. And it's a nice addition to get into before you start making a preserving bin. It only has four, four slots in it, and it doesn't do a huge increase. So let's see, let's grab this out. Five minutes now. Now if I transfer it back over, 42 minutes. So... I mean, it's decent, decent increase in, in spoil timer and a great little addition for early on game. Even if it's not early on game, it's still honestly great because even though it only has four slots, one, it's cheap, and two, you never have to put fuel in it. It just does the thing. So that's pretty cool. And as I stated before, the fish trap has to be placed underwater. It can be pretty much placed anywhere. It, it really doesn't matter. And the six slots are fine. I filled all of the slots except for one with the berries. And you can see that it's it's um, been doing... all the, One of the sets of berries has gone away. But I, I originally had them all filled up. So it will overfill, which is cool too. Okay, so as I stated, there will be a link down below that will give you all the extra detailed information on each of those foods how much water they give how much food they give how much health they give and their different spoil timers and all of that uh, i mean i could go over them but it's relatively boring i mean if you're going to use the mod and you're going to want a specific thing it's easy enough for you guys just to go through that list and find the one that you want to make uh that's is best suited for you well, that's going to call it for this episode. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.